We really got into the biomechanics and the kinematic sequences and things like that because now, can we get in a good posture and maintain that posture through, you know, heel strike and then launch, right? Because if we can do that, now we're going to see those exit velocities get high and stay high, right? So this is something that we, we kind of talk about if we go back to, you know, the fall versus the end of the fall and kind of measuring things. I and mean, this was an athlete that uh, came in and, you know, if we start looking at the average velocities and you know, she was around 65, roughly around there. Um, and, and so her max at that time was 78. And so we look at that and we go, okay. Um, and she would, she would get up there and then it would fall off. And so her hitter's handicap would have been a lot bigger and the repeatability just wasn't there. Like it wasn't part of what she was doing. So then all of a sudden, like as we kind of went through the fall and jumped into biomechanics and we did, showed some things to her, now all of a sudden we see the max velocity jumping up to 90, which I've never seen before. Um, and now her, and her average jumped to 12 points. So a 12 point swing in average uh, by the, from the beginning of the fall to the end of the fall was something that I was, was really excited about, you know? And so all of a sudden now her max distance when we first started was 239 and now all of a sudden it's 295, which is, crazy to see that kind of difference and so um, so it's kind of neat to see the comparison part of that um, of what, where we started and then where we are right now and so and then for us then so once we kind of got that we started to see okay we need to work on this repeatability in our swing now so let's let's bring in the biomechanical piece is this how we're moving prior to that right so from the pelvis um, to the hips the, for, the front arm and you know and so that's something we we noticed straight away is that it wasn't sequenced as well, okay? So why is that? So why isn't it sequenced as well? And so that's when we started to jump into our center mass, right? So what we noticed a lot is she had a lot of, of, of like kind of, you know, leaning back in her swing, right? And so what we try to do is like, okay, can we move center mass forward, right? But also stay stacked. Can we stay in a good, posture that's going to allow us to drive the ball okay so we started looking at center mass okay now if we, we noticed this like for her which was kind of interesting right as we watched this the center mass like so she she moves hers almost 12 inches which is kind of a lot you know we thought oh that's kind of jumping out the ball right and so we also started looking at stride length and so and then we noticed with her stride length that it tends to be the same so the stride length and center mass they kind of go hand in hand all right and so, but when we're jumping out that far, we're, we're starting to lose some power. So that's something we really started talking about with her. Um, the other thing I wanted to show with this one, which I loved with this, was okay, like maybe she's a kid that jumps out too much or she jumps out real far, but where's her head in space? So we looked at the head piece, right? How much movement she has. So as we moved it forward, our goal is always to try to keep the head kind of in that circle as well. Can we keep our circles touching? That's kind of how I just always called it. But we can see straight away, right? This head starts to really drop. So when the head drops, the eyes drop. When the eyes drop, then we're making the ball move a lot more than what the ball is actually moving, right? So we start to see, we're talking inches of drop, right? So, I mean, even this this much drop in our in our head as we're moving forward can make that ball move more than it is. And so, so it goes back to, okay, wait a second, the head's moving more because our stride length is so far, right? So can we shorten that stride and keep it underneath us a little bit more? And is that gonna help keep our head, uh, you know, more centered and keep our eyes from moving as much? So that's one thing we really started to work on with her is her move forward and not going as far and being so jumpy, but trying to shorten that up a little bit, but yet still maintaining, you know, posture as she moved forward. So this was a great tool for us to take a look at and see that, all right? And so, and then this one did, so th this was also a piece we worked with the torso, right? So we got side bend and forward bend. And so what we noticed a lot with her was we had a lot of tilt kind of going on right here. So, um, and I want to see it at heel strike. And so once we get to heel strike right here, where are we? And so we can notice, okay, we've got a lot of bend right now. So we want to try to get that spine just to kind of come up and we want to try to maintain it a little bit more so we have less bend, right? So it all kind of goes together. Um, it, it really is like all one piece, right? So like the head moves because we strive too far, right? And so our center mass moves a ton because we're going too far. So really it kind of goes back to that first part of this. Can we move efficiently? And can we move forward and still maintain our posture, maintain our head, which is gonna maintain our eyes. And so that's when we really started to kind of work with her and work a little bit like kind of shorten and maintain that. So we go back to those, those numbers that we looked at before 
And you can see the difference in that. You can see that the fact that the average velocity, you know, went up almost 12 miles per hour, just the average, that's just crazy to me. And so that was a big one for us to know that, hey, we're starting to train these athletes well. And this was a good visual for her to see because it helped her um, now take these things, they take these drills and then be able to work on her own and figure out, okay, this is what's helping me and this is what the results I'm looking for.